careful now, like a little witch with all of my potions. I've now completely stained my nails. I normally would never put my makeup on before a flight, but I'm filming. one script to write. I'm never as on time as I want to be. What I mean by script is like writing out my questions, prepping for the interview. I still have one more. Oh my gosh, Trump is talking about Taylor Swift. What? He said Joe Biden didn't do anything for Taylor and never will. I like her boyfriend Travis, even though he may be a liberal and probably can't stand me. <laughs> My tinctures made it. I was so scared they were gonna be broken, but they made it, so I mean, that's good at least. So we're officially in Charlotte. I'm filming with the food babe tomorrow, and this is one of the grossest hotels I've ever stayed in. I'm literally like so creeped out. My bed doesn't even have a headboard. Thank God I'm only here for, oh God, is it two nights? Oh, I have to stay here two nights. Hell, pray for me. This is what happens when I am not the hotel picker. <gasps> what kind of place is this? Tomorrow we're waking up, we're going straight to the shoot. I was like getting emotional reading Vanny's book because just so much that she talks about as far as corruption in the food industry just hits really close to home right now because of everything my dad's going through. And I just know that basically all of his problems I know are diet induced, lifestyle induced. So it's just very frustrating for me how this entire industry preys on people like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go wash my face, get ready for bed, and uh, hopefully I wake up to a Chiefs win. Woke up to a Chiefs win, baby! I know that's right! <laughs> On my way to do the Food Babe interview, and I definitely ate dirt walking to the car. It is a super rainy day. There's so much to cover with Vanny. She's lived a thousand lives, so I'm kind of like hoping that within, you know, two hour max, I've covered kind of all the bases with her that you guys will care about. So we'll see how it goes. So I asked Bonnie during our interview, where is the best place to get your nails done? She gave me two places. This was one of them. Oh my gosh, the attention to detail. Definitely one of the best manicures I've had in a long time. Like I'm very happy with it. So if you live in Charlotte or find yourself in Charlotte and need your nails done, this place is pretty good, Millennial Nails. The Austin airport is my very favorite airport. Like the best amenities, the best food options. I love this airport. It's the only airport I would get to early to have more time in it. Um, okay, wait, where are we going? Nobody's telling me. We're just gonna go downtown for now. You wanna go shopping? Yeah. This has become a I need to get earrings because I accidentally dropped my earrings down the sink and now I look like a butch lesbian. So nothing's really changed. <laughs> One thing I really like to do whenever I'm traveling in a new city is try to find like little weird vintage shops or antique stores to kind of check out or home boutiques. I specifically wanted to try this place in Austin. I've never been to Uncommon Objects. A lot of people rave about it. We'll see how good it is. Maybe I'll find some. So many treasures already and we literally just walked in. First of all, I wish I still wore perfume. I'm not anymore, but if I did, I would totally get this. It's literally called blackmail. Absolutely yes. Do you know me? Is this Abraham Lincoln or is that just a man?
Halloween suit. <laughs> oh look, little bottles, perfect for my spillover rebrand. Eight dollars for this. Why? This should be like a penny, if half a penny. I love these bookends with the dogs. I love this color. I love a mint color. But these are three hundred and fifty. Extra powerful sound, burglar alarm? What does that mean? I got my schemes book and also a guide to the top vintage around town for 2024 in Austin. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep this handy. I was gonna say something I held back and you threw me into it. Action. We are on our way to Jen and Rusty's house. They are non-toxic home builders. Like every material that a home is made out of. The air, pipes, I don't even know. I'm not a home builder, but floor, driveway, even the handles on the cabinets. They do non-toxic or organic materials. Her story is really cool because the whole reason she got into this was basically because her own house was killing her. So I'll let her tell her story in the actual episode so you'll have to listen to that. This is stunning! <laughs> oh, in Texas, baby. Kevin, I have a serious question for you. When you get older and you start shrinking, what are you gonna do with your nickname? 511. I gotta shrink so much. <laughs> 511 Kevin. <laughs> Would you take RFK on your show? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I can ask him. What's the favorite one you've ever done? Favorite episode? No, favorite tease. Like something that you've come up with that's like, oh like keeping God. the people guessing. I mean, I can't even remember. You know me, um, Hashimoto's alien brain. I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's much. Last night I started, like, I wanted to go home, well, go to my hotel because I was just, I could feel myself getting sick. And then I woke up this morning and just, my throat feels like glass, have zero energy, like, just hurts to move, and I'm supposed to fly back today. So, let's shower. Let's sort of get ready. I don't know if I have it in me to put makeup on. Maybe I'll try a little, but I gotta get to urgent care. Okay, so they said it's a two hour wait. So I guess we'll go get breakfast or something. I think I have a talent for taking places. Okay, check this menu out. They have collagen bone broth, regenerative chicken bone broth, butter bones, coconut curry and lime, grass-fed burgers. <gasps> I'm in heaven. I wish I had this place in Scottsdale. I hope the food is just as good as I hope, you know, think it's gonna be. And they have my favorite thing to say at restaurants, bibimbap. Maybe I should open a restaurant and it should be like this. What would you call it? Probably like boobahs. <laughs> Yummy. Well, the bread is just weird kind of texture. You know, it is gluten-free, which I'm happy about that. But I mean, it's not normal sourdough toast, I can tell you that. Let's go look at this vintage store if it's open. It's called Devil's Details. <laughs> what do you think of my friends? left the doctor's appointment. I do not have strep throat. I just have a cold or bad allergies. 
get home, I'm gonna overdose on vitamin C and zinc and elderberry and bone broth and hopefully nurse myself back to health because I got a big interview in a couple days. That's the trip, I feel like it was successful. I'm sad, honestly, to be leaving Austin because I just love it so much. Like, every time I'm in the car, I see a 100 other places I wanna try, you know, eating at or shopping at. Anyway, thanks for coming along for a little Alex Vlogs.